Hi, I'm Kay and I have a problem. I love motorcycles. In the personal ranking of important things in my life, number one are my kids, second is my motorcycle, third is my car, and fourth is my boyfriend. Maybe on a good day, my boyfriend might rank number three. <laughs> I've always wanted to ride motorcycles um, ever since I was a kid. My family is originally from the Philippines and I remember I was about seven or eight and we were visiting family. And I remember someone had a motorcycle at the house. Um, I had a blue dress on and I had pigtails and someone had set me on top of the motorcycle and I had this full helmet on. And I remember I was grinning ear to ear and my family was laughing and smiling when they saw me sitting on that motorcycle. And I remember that like it was yesterday. And that was probably my first time I ever realized I wanted to learn how to ride motorcycles. When I was an adult, I expressed interest in learning how to ride. And at the time I was married, my, my husband um, worked as a police officer and he had concerns about me learning how to ride. He has seen many accidents um, that were not pretty. So when he expressed his concern, I really didn't push it. So I just didn't really pursue learning how to ride at that time of my life. So in 2017, I was in a different phase of my life and I started dating someone who had been riding motorcycles for over 20 years. And our first date, he showed up on his 2005 Road King in Yellow Pearl and we rode around for about an hour after dinner and I was, I was hooked. And probably two months after that, I learn how to ride a motorcycle. I have been riding now for about five years and I've owned five bikes. <laughs> and every bike that I've owned have had, have had its pros and cons. Um, my challenge as a rider is I'm 5'2", I'm 144 pounds and I have a 27 to 28 inch inseam. So I'm limited to the type of bike I can ride. Can I ride any bike? Yes, but at the end of the day, I want to ride comfortably and be able to flat foot the bike and be able to duck walk the bike without assistance. Um, I started back in 2017, my first bike was Harley Davidson Street 750. Then I upgraded to 2018 Street Bob. It was a great bike, but it was not comfortable on longer road trips. Um, then I upgraded to the 2020 Street Glide CVO, which had all the bells and whistles, but it was 800 pounds and required special modifications like special shocks to lower the bike. I needed to have a special kickstand because I couldn't even reach the kickstand. And I couldn't safely handle the weight of the bike um, within my skill set. Traded that in and I got a 2018 Softail Slim, which was lower to the ground and had the potential, but I just didn't enjoy the bike. But now, I have a 2022 Lowrider ST and it has exceeded my expectations. As time goes on, I'll be talking more about my riding experience with the Lowrider ST. Let me first say I knew nothing about motorcycles. I didn't even learn how to drive a car with stick when I was 16. When I got my permit, I took riding classes. I took a couple of riding classes and I failed twice. 
um, to get my M on my license. Um, I even bought the starter bike, which was the Street 750, so that I could keep practicing. And I was afraid to go over 45 miles an hour. I was, I would get angry with my boyfriend for going over 45 miles an hour. Um, I've dropped the bike. I fractured my wrist when I dropped the bike. Um, I wanted to quit so many times because I didn't think I'd ever figure it out. And five years later, I can't imagine not being on a motorcycle. Um, there is something to say about wind therapy, therapy that gives me a sense of freedom and joy when I'm riding. Everybody deals with problems in their life, but I don't solve problems when I'm on the motorcycle. I can temporarily suspend thinking about them because I need to focus on my surroundings. I need to focus on the bike. Um, and there is a sense of accomplishment when I've completed road trips like riding the Cherahala Skyway in Tennessee or riding through the Smoky Mountains during the day and even at night and pushing myself when I really feel like quitting. Um, but I have the support of my boyfriend and my friends that make riding a really fun experience. And I wanna be able to ride for as long as I can and be able to explore as many states as I can on my motorcycle. So I wanted to do this channel because I wanted to be able to share my riding experience on trips or just exploring around town. Also to provide reviews, um, rider reviews on bike accessories as well as motorcycles. Um, and then helpful tips that I've learned that I wanna be able to pass on to the viewer. So thank you very much for watching my intro video and please stay tuned for our next video, which is installing the Zero 3D Shock and Awe Light Kit on my Lowrider ST. Thank you. Bye.